Welcome to Love and Marriage Channel with Olaf Ladi. In today's video, you will learn how to develop spiritual intimacy during courtship. According to 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 7, the Bible says, But grow spiritually mature in the grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. To him be glory, honor, majesty, splendor, both now and to the day of eternity. This video is part two of the Courtship Goals series. I encourage you to watch part one to learn how to grow in friendship love during courtship. My name is Salah Falabi. I teach biblical principles and Christian values for building healthy relationships and loving lasting marriage God's way. If you would like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and share this video with your friends and family. Also tap the notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new YouTube video. To achieve spiritual intimacy during courtship, you must be intimate with God. Your relationship with God must go beyond your salvation experience. God is calling you into a deep communion with Him through worship, prayers and study of the Word. So, on an individual level, you must be a devoted follower of Christ. Your intimacy with God will positively influence your relationship with your intended spouse. Matthew 22 verse 37 says, You must love the Lord with all your heart, all your soul, and all your mind. Secondly, share the history of your spiritual journey if you have not already done so. How did you come to know the Lord? When did you give your life to the Lord Jesus Christ? This will enable you to discover if the desire to draw near to God is mutual and if your godly values are in alignment with each other. For you to grow spiritually, you must be pulling in the same direction with the same purpose. Thirdly, incorporate spiritual disciplines into your relationship and this will help you achieve spiritual connection through your faith in God. Pray together. It is necessary for you to pray with the person you intended to get married to. The Bible says that one can chase a thousand and two can put ten thousand to flight. Pray about different areas of your relationship. Pray about your decision and your future together. You can also have fasting. Read the Word of God together. Some of the topics that will give you a deeper understanding of the doctrines of the Word of God are repentance, water baptism, being filled with the Holy Spirit with the evidence of speaking in tongues, as well as having faith in God. When you have a consistent view of the Word of God, it will foster oneness and unity in your relationship and you will become more like-minded and this will enable you to continue to grow up spiritually. You can also read Bible plans together and discuss what you learned and how you can apply the Word of God to your everyday life. You must establish boundaries and be spiritually connected in the same way you would be with any other friend because you're not yet one. So you must not act as though you're married. Pray and read the word of God together during the day and not alone in an empty house where you can be tempted. Don't share topics that are too intimate for your level of relationship. You should both respect boundaries that you have set and God will reward you for doing that. Galatians chapter 5 verse 25 says, If we claim to live by the Holy Spirit, we must also walk by the Spirit with personal integrity, godly character, and moral courage, a conduct being empowered by the Holy Spirit. Now I'm going to pray with you from the book of Colossians chapter 1 verses 9 and 10. I pray that God will fill you with the knowledge of his will in all spiritual wisdom and understanding to lead a life worthy of the Lord, fully pleasing to Him, bearing fruit in every good work and increasing in the knowledge of God. Amen. God bless you and I look forward to sharing with you how to communicate effectively in Koshi Goals 